hello everyone so today i'm going to show you or i'm going to tell you how to know if you've been selected for the green card results the green card results will be out today and so many kenyans it applied i had there were 20 million kenyans who had applied for the green card and i know this is the best time people everyone is eager because the results will be announced today 7 p.m kenyan time so make sure you are there make sure you get everything make sure you have your confirmation number and if you don't have your confirmation number there's a way i'll tell you i'll do another a separate video of telling you how you are going to check your results if you do not have that confirmation number or the paper the printout so stay tuned so if you do not have that do not be worried like what else now everything is gone no everything is not now and for the starters most people do not know what green card is because i know there are some people who do not know or they have just recently joined the what is it called the internet or the social media and, and they've never heard of green card so green card is a lottery played every year and when you win this green card there is a process you go for interview you apply there is a form these are ds260 you apply you go for medicals you go for you, you go for your interview and you migrate to the us and there is an and a but but it is not an automatic gateway for you to go to the us because sometimes people think that when you win your green when you win a green card it's automatic it's automatic you're going to go to the us no i know so many people who have won the green card but they are not going to the us for reasons of one or two reasons and the most i know is when you get uh, a number this is they have forgotten uh, there's a number i've forgotten about that name i don't know, I don't know what is it called but there's a number so make sure when you win the green card you've been selected when you are when you check your results your the green card results today and it says congratulations you've been selected but immediately get your papers in line get your papers in line and one of the requirements is this this year they did not require you to have a passport so make sure you have your passport in time immediately you see today or tomorrow that you've been selected get your passport and then even before you're getting your passport please fill out or you fill out a form called ds260 ds260 this ds260 helps you and make sure you're filling this ds260 please fill out the right or the correct information because this ds260 when you mess a little bit when you are going for an interview it determines whether you are going to get your visa so make sure you be careful when you're filling that ds260 enter in the correct information that you know the correct do not lie because at some point when you're lying the truth will always come out so make sure you do not lie after that i don't know if you are required a passport number but i think the first thing after congratulations get your passport as soon as possible and fill out your ds260 and then from there gather your certificates if you said you, were, you have a master's gather your master's papers if you said you are married to so and so make sure you have your marriage certificate because if you applied as a married person and you you've never been married yes you live with a person you are your husband but you are not legally married you do not have the certificate make sure you get that because let's say if i applied as me and then i indicated that i have a husband so and so but I do not have legal papers, the marriage certificate. So when I go to the interview, it will be very hard for me to explain who this person is. Or you can just say it's my boyfriend. But you know also when you say it's your boyfriend, that's another story. They'll tell you, 
So what next after you've gone to the US and is left in Kenya? Because you won't go with a person. Yes, you applied with and you've won, but he's not your husband. You won't. You won't travel with that person anyway. I would end up Mahali at Abakitu in Kenya. So make sure you have your marriage certificate. Make sure you have your papers, your diploma, your degree, your certificate, your master's papers. Make sure you have your passport. So, also one very important thing. Do not go around telling people that you've won a green card. Number two. Don't go around quitting your job. <laughs> huh? Don't leave your job or don't quit. Don't quit yet. Hmm? Because huh? you're not sure you're going to the US. Yes, you might have won the green card, but you won't migrate. Like I've told you, this, I don't know, these US embassies, they are so strict. They are so genuine, yes, but very strict. Like I told you, what you feel in your DS-260, make sure you stick with that. Because that can determine whether you're going or not. And also pray, 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 pray. I know so many people, it's like a cliche when I say pray. But pray. As from this, when I'm posting this video, do not pray to be selected because <laughs> people have been selected already. Already. You could have prayed in October when you applied. So your prayers of being selected right now, it is not working. So pray if you're selected, if you check your, you've been selected, start praying, start praying. Because you know what? That would really help you. And I believe in prayers. There was a time I wanted something so bad. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. Was it for two months or one month? I really prayed. And you know what? I caught that thing. And since then, I've always believed in prayer. So make sure you pray, you pray, you pray for your visa process to go well. And finally, you will migrate to the US. There's, and, and, and the good thing about this green card is you do not have, you know, the way ke, we Kenyans like, lazima unajona na mtu ndo upate yu, ndo upate ufanyefu, ufanyo fever. I know, I know so many, there are so many YouTubers who went to the US. We have Shiko Hope, we have Abu, Abi Abuji, we have Uku US, I know some neighbors of mine from way back who migrated to the US very early and they are doing well. And also one thing I almost forgot to tell you, this green card process is not free. It is, yeah, the application was somehow free, but also you had to pay for the photo right and the editing of the photo right. So this process is not free actually. You first, you have to pay if you've been selected. Yes, you submit your papers for free, but there's medical process, there's passport. If you live far or even Nairobi, there's transport to and fro from the medical centers that where the place where you're going to do your medicals. And also, there's the visa interview, which is very expensive. The last time I heard about visa interview, the US visa interview was 27,000. Right now, I'm not sure, but that was four, five years ago when I heard about it, it was 27,000. But right now, I'm not sure. There's, then there's that. And then there's also, what? Your ticket going to the US. And also one important thing I, was, I almost forgot. Make sure you have somebody who's going to host you. You know, America, you can't just go in like you are coming to Kenya and call somebody, hello, I'll be coming tomorrow, so nitakuja kulala kwako. No. In the US, no. So make sure you get your host, a friend, a relative, someone from way back you knew before they migrated to the US or even your relative, your mom might be there. So make sure you get a host very early the moment you got selected. Because also when you're feeling you are, what, your DS-260, you know, for the interview, 
you will also provide the residence of your host and recently i saw shiko hope tv if you following her she's also one of the people who went to the u.s via green card with her family with her family so she, recently she got a permanent residence she's a citizen now the u.s and she's hosting people so if you win your green card do not like ask yourself where am i going to start there are so many people who are willing to help so do not also like this 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 group on facebook i am in and you always hear stories from there there are so many people who want green card way back from 2008 2009 but they failed to go for their interview because they said we do not have anyone to host us in the u.s or like this green card is not important please i know so many people like shiko hope has been telling us if you do not have something tangible to do in kenya please migrate please go to the us if you win the green card please your life will be changed forever so make sure you go win the green card go and start your life life in america is better it is very hard yes but it is better compared to Kenya. At least where you work, you get your money. But here in Kenya, you work here, yes, but the money is little. And you know the inflation right now. Everything is so, so, so high. So, for this, I'll do another video tomorrow to show, for, to celebrate or congratulate the people who have been selected. So, make sure you check. Travel, is, is it www.travel.state.g o v gov g o v usiendelea.com do not go for the dot com one or org organization no travel.state.gov that is the legit website that you're going to confirm your results and for everyone who won congratulations in advance i'm hoping for the best too i've been applying this green card thing for the last uh how many years three four years and i hope i'm the lucky one this time around with my family and my daughter so congratulations to everyone let's meet tomorrow bye